This is page 12. It's conic sections in a nutshell. Um, the reason I throw the note for conic sections into this pre-calculus slash calculus, calculus notes is because this here shape, the ellipse, is the reason why Newton invented calculus. He was trying to calculate planetary motion, and the orbits of planets are elliptical around the sun. And we've done that diagram several times in this class. So the calculus course, if you're taking an AP course or a college-level calculus course, they're going to often involve stuff that deals with Isaac Newton because he's one of the inventors of calculus. So the conic sections in a nutshell, I'm going to list, and this is only my opinion, the four conics. Now some people say there's only three because they'll consider the circle an ellipse, a special ellipse. But I'm going to say there's four conic sections, from easiest to most difficult. The first one will be the circle. That's probably the easiest one. And I'm just going to give the basic formula for it. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Um, the calculus equation for that would actually be y equals the square root of r squared minus x squared. And the reason the calculus version of that is because in calculus we don't usually only deal with functions. So that would be the top half of a circle. That would be a semicircle. The second conic, func conic uh, would be the ellipse. Again, that would be the second easiest in my opinion. And that's going to be x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Another version of it, another version of it. And isn't that, that, that dissimilar? It would be x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. And the important note is that a has to be greater than b when you're dealing with an ellipse. And that'll tell you whether it's a, I call it a hamburger ellipse or a hot dog ellipse. The third one would be hyperbola. That equation is going to be x squared over a squared. And now instead of being plus, it's a minus. Also set equal to 1. Now, the other version of this would be y squared first. When y squared comes first, um, it changes the orientation of the graph. Um, when x squared comes first, the graph is going to be orientated like this. When y squared comes first, the graph is going to be orientated up and down. The fourth most difficult one, yes, is the parabola. The high school equation for a parabola is the vertex form equation, where a is the leading coefficient, minus h. h is the, the x value of the vertex squared, plus k, where hk is the vertex. And that's called vertex form. Now here comes the college equation. y equals 1 over 4c. And c is the distance from the vertex to the focus. This is a little tricky. This is a little tricky. And then it goes back into vertex form. x minus h, the quantity squared, plus k. <sighs> now, depending on whether the leading coefficient is positive or negative, so they're both y equals x squared type graphs, or y equals negative x squared. So it's either going to be concave up or concave down. Y, oops, not y equals, x equals, and this is strange, x equals 1 over 4c, times y minus k squared plus h. This is x equals y squared format. And that's going to be concave to the right, or opening to the right. x equals negative y squared, and that's going to be opening to the left. <laughs>